what's up y'all it is day three of worlds day two for me um it's a chill day for tli um so i'm kind of just hanging out i was sitting on the bleachers with the team watching some fights um now i'm outside because it's cold in there y'all trying to warm up plus i love the sun but now i'm about to run back inside and see who i can meet up with who i can get some content with i'm a uh, find Talis and his wife and have them break down some Portuguese for y'all. Talis just ran up on the table, grabbed some medals. So the first thing we're gonna do is the vlog. I gotta be in it. So it's really hard for me to be in it and record with my phone and have y'all. You do best. So like I said, I was gonna catch up with Talis. Talis Ponches. He is with his wife. It sounds weird to say yeah. that wife. And I don't think I've ever met you before. Yeah. Yeah. That's I don't like, you know all these people on social media or like they'll run through like randomly at a competition. But yeah, Talis and his wife. I see them on social media all the time. And like. I don't really know how to say it in English. They're very fofinho. Like, he's really, like, I would say her nickname now is my love because when he coaches her, he's just like, my love, my love. I had a video of it, too. I was talking to Master Lloyd. It was cute. So, Talis is going to break down what fofinho means in Portuguese and if there are any other words I could use to, like, vary what I call him now. I think fofinho is something, like, uh, muito... He, in Portuguese or in English? Uh, I can translate it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. This is the thing. Like, muito, you can say it in Portuguese. I'll say it in English. Fofinho you means like muito, muito fofo, muito bonito, muito, muito legal. Às vezes, na maioria das vezes, é, tipo, é uma pessoa like very cute, super cute, super cute. and super sweet. You know, that mm -hmm. that is what means fofinho. Mm -hmm. And when the person is very handsome like me or, or beautiful like Abby. That's what means for fear. When you see people like us, that's what means. <laughs> <laughs> and how is your Portuguese? Uh, it's okay. I'm learning. I can say oi, to bem, stuff like this, like bom dia. Just basic phrases. I want to learn more because I've been talking with Talisa's mom. So it's important for me to be able to talk to her and stuff and, and to learn a little bit about this so I can go to Talisa's family. Ah, very true, very true. Have you been to Brazil yet? No. I don't know, we have a lot of work to do, but maybe in one or two years, maybe. Oh, Julia Alves just won the adult female brown belt light feather world title. Julia is someone I've worked with a lot, but again, never met. So I'm just kind of posted up here waiting for her to show up at the camera. I'm gonna get some content, some B-roll, and yeah, just randomly waiting for her to show up. I take that back. I was trying to meet up with Julia again, someone I've never met, but Sid's about to be up in the finals. Luckily, Sid be finishing all her fights in like less than a minute, so we should be in and out of this. Um, yeah. Absolutely. How many fights have you had in a uh, week? Okay. Right. So 
Yeah, she played some weight class, and now she's up in the absolute. Jamil is here. Jamil has been an amazing coach. I don't think people realize, like, he is with the kids squad the whole time when they come to major competitions, whether he's competing or not. He's been here coaching. He's definitely got a lot of voice to master Diany. So he just puts in that work when he comes to these competitions. And he still has to compete tomorrow. So it's a lot for him. He's been here all day for the last two days. Push it down. Push it between your legs. Push it. Force it down, I said. Oh, you know, on the other side of me, we got Cesar de Costa, head of the Cesar de Costa Social Project. He does major work, social work in Sao Paulo. Not a lot of teams do. Fabio Gugel Alliance, they don't have any luck with social projects. They even keep Dreamart out of, out of the squad. Dreamart doesn't compete on the Alliance anymore, and it's all money-based. So people like Cesar that have a huge project, they've been, like, creating champions for years and years and years. Like, he's here to give Tyler his black belt, which is dope. I asked Tyler, when was the last time you saw him? It's been like two years since the pandemic, and you know, just because they see each other, like they run into each other at competition. It's been a while since Tyler has actually lived in Brazil. Push any step over you. Judy, push any step over you. Stuff the leg. Stuff the leg. Go. Ate, come on. What are you doing? Stuff the leg. Come on, Juliana. Ate, stuff the leg. You gotta go, let's go! Come on, go! Stop it. Go! Alright, y'all, about to close out the day. We have one more match. We just finished up Blue Belt Female Juvenile. She got double gold, which is awesome. I can hear her medals clanking. We're all the way up there walking around. We have one more athlete that's gonna compete from Crazy 88, and then we are going home, y'all. Home. It is 8.04. The mats are clear. There ain't nobody here today. Except the media. Media is also miserable. They have tons and tons of photos to edit, so that's never fun. Let's walk you guys by. Spantalium. Do you speak English yet? A little bit. A little bit of English. Do you can you tell people how you know how you know me? How do you know me? Como me conheço? Ah, Mika. 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 Mika BJJ. Mika BJJ. <laughs> this is the person, the reason that my name is Nomi Nico. Quem não quer saber qual é? O nome do Instagram é Nomi, é no cara novo. O nome de você. Porque mais nunca vou tirar o parte de meu irmão, de Fernando Tererê. Então, this is the person, he's the reason that my Instagram is what it is and I'll never change it. No, no. But he was from Equipe Zero também, então não. <laughs> My good times, good times. Good times. Thank you, thank good you. you. Preciso fazer um blog obrigada. Eu não quero fazer, mas estou faltando cinco minutos ainda. Hello, hello. So we got all the refs. Excuse me. All the people in charge. And again, the photographers. This is color for it now. Take a peek over here and we got some more photographers. I was talking to this guy yesterday. He's the one that showed me that Sony cameras have two spots for memory cards. He just sat down, tried to do this like subtle flex up on me. So he is, his job is to grab all the black belts and have them take pictures. And if you've ever tried to find a black belt and get them to do something, you would know it's pretty hard, nearly impossible. Thank you. I have vlogging homework. I hate vlogging, so I need to get like 30 minutes. So I'm just walking around. I'm, I'm glad we're a part of it. I'm glad we're part uh -huh. of it. You are a part of it. I was explaining how you have a hellish job here, trying to like corral black belts and get them in front of that green screen. Because black belts, that's, that's you're not a black belt, are you? It's like black belts don't listen. I didn't want to. <laughs> but he's the one that told me. And like, I hope you're not the person that's in charge of corralling the black belts. 